This video illustrates front cover removal and identification of the main mechanical components that are front serviceable. Using a putty knife or a metal one covered in clear tape, enter the opening between the top cover and front panel just perpendicular to the lid opening as demonstrated here. Push inward to release the retaining clips on both sides. As the front panel tilts forward, notice the two mounting tabs extending off the front frame rail at the bottom of the front cover. These hold the bottom of the front panel in place. This view of the mechanical assembly features a cutaway of the outer tub and wash basket. The semi-transparent plastic outer tub is indicated here. This is the stainless steel wash basket. Some models with less capacity and features utilize a white plastic wash basket. The activator assembly sits atop a coupling attached to the inner drive shaft of the transmission. Note this transmission case rotates during motor operation. The transmission mounts to this large black frame rail assembly, as does the drive motor. This entire mechanical unit is suspended from these four spring and rod assemblies. There are two in the front and two in the rear. Note they are color coded as for these applications and need to be replaced the same way. This keeps the machine in a state of balance during the wash and spin cycles. This inverter board is only for models using a clutchless three-phase drive motor and is held in place with double-sided tape. The drain pump is located here in the right front of the machine. This concludes this training video.